bullet bits, <laughs> but I could shoot Morse code. Oh God, you can just shoot Morse code, uh, like. <laughs> uh, but they need to be able to see it, probably. <laughs> Hence the flare. Triage, it's your uh, turn. I have chemical light sticks, so yeah, I can try to make something. I don't know if that's going to be powerful enough, but. I also I have, have a flashlight, dude. I have a flashlight. We're good. Just fucking flashlight. Yeah, flashlight <laughs> might work. All right, so. Well, it's, a, it's okay. daytime, so flashlight probably wouldn't work that well. Oh, uh. Well, it's early morning, so the sun's probably coming up. Like, it's not already up, because we left super early in the morning, so. That's true, you did. You left super early. Like, you got up at 6. Like 5 a.m. or so. And then, oh, no. Uh, okay. And then you guys had gotten out. And about 7.30 is about where you're at right now, I would guess. Can, can, you, can, you, do, can you do Morse code and smoke signals? <laughs> got this joint, so... <laughs> <laughs> this joint. I've got this joint. <laughs> You put your weed in. Have you smoked it yet? No. You haven't smoked that, that bag that you found? Mm-mm. Okay, just let me know if you do. I'm just... Oh, I will. All right, so... I'm just... Meh. What? What? Chaos, tell me. <laughs> shut I'm up. Everybody shut it. up and let Chaos talk. <laughs> I'm tired of everyone oh. interrupting him. Now everyone shut up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Go ahead. Start. <laughs> I'm, the joke's just, over. Just go ahead. I'm just start. <laughs> no, I was gonna say. I was wondering when everybody's gonna realize that the people we need to talk to are in a communication tower, and we can just broadcast our radios and click Morse code out. Like, sure, cool. That, that works. <laughs> They're um, in a communication tower. <laughs> hopefully, that will work. It is powered now, so yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's my turn, shot. I believe. And it is your turn. Uh, as a real quick recap, though, you guys had fixed uh, the power station, uh, fought off uh, the slippery and wet guys, sealed up the doors, put C4 in, in places uh, with pressure traps, and um, made your way to this location after passing a variety of uh, monkeys and large praying mantis creatures outside. Which are just outside the door trying to kill us. That's correct. Uh, they're munching on monkeys right now. They are. They are. They're munching those monkeys. That's the snack that never stops. So we <laughs> are back to uh, to continue this combat from last time. It's round six. Triage is at top uh, of the order. Awesome. I'm in a really good spot here. I need to wipe this monkey off the face of the planet. So I'm a shooter. Whew. Then I started blasting. The door is closed behind you, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to use my full round action, finish him off. Okay. Mm. Oh, shit. Good lord. <laughs> oh, Shakira. Oh, he's going to be stunned, guys. Uh, that's a that's a confirmed stun. <laughs> oh, but wait! He takes double damage because it's a crit. So so stunned, he's dead. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Just to make sure, I'm gonna take a five foot step. All right, pass your turn. And that's my turn. Dead hand. You are standing inside the um, gondola control um, booth. In front of you is a control board. Uh, that shows that there was an override in place preventing you from turning on this particular, uh, you know, the bottom part here and running the gondolas to send them up there. What you doing? Okay. I'm going to... Uh, what I want to do is try to get into the frequency of the radio tower and start clicking in Morse code the message. Okay, give me a spot check, please. Spot check. Doesn't need to be in a tower. Put it publicly. Okay. That way if you fail, everyone knows the, the level of your shame. Okay. For shame. <clears throat> no, no shame here. Uh, oh, sweet. <laughs> I was all, it's on the line. <laughs> you see that there is a radio um, in the control panel itself. Just needs to cool. be turned on, and it looks like it's probably designed to be a two-way 
to the uh, the upper portion. Go. Cool. Uh, I flick it on and start sending out the Morse code message. Okay. I mean, I could talk into it, but I'm going to send the Morse code message first before they ask a bunch of questions they don't understand. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, that is what you're going to be doing. Yeah, I'm guessing that's a full round action because yeah, yeah I actually have to pause and click and. Boop, 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 boop. And my turn. All right, dying monkey. <laughs> monkey. Hopefully, still dying. Okay. Monkey. Good. I mean, you just grab him and throw him outside. <laughs> yeah. Well. Looks like this monkey here is going to try to attack Fatal. Is it? Is it it's, it's oh, there currently it dazed, though. Yeah, those two monkeys were fighting each other. Just. Oh, there's ones behind, the one next to you, and the one, yeah, those ones, but there's one outside. That was monkey three that's dying. Yeah. Monkey eight. Uh, no, it is monkey, monkey three. Monkey eight. Monkey eight. Monkey three is dying, Thank and you. monkey eight and monkey five are fighting each other. All right. For some reason, it's, I thought that token lit up. All right. So monkey eight is going to continue uh, doing its thing. It's going to crap in its hand and throw <laughs> some feces at this other monkey because that's the adult thing to do. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> right in the eyes. I was, I was like, it's days, but then maybe not that day. In addition, the monkey's ribs with poo. In addition to standard critical damage, your target's lungs have been pierced, <laughs> broken, with <laughs> yeah, basically broken. Oh, stunned. Unless it's got sharp poo. Stunned for two rounds. Minus one penalty to combat. Fifty percent chance of right or left side. <laughs> Powerful poop. That's some strong ass dookie. Must have had some Taco Bell. <laughs> no, that'd be liquid. We're all like, oh, that's awesome. So but right side. Remind, remind everybody, Jace just rolled a critical. So I've been rolling yeah, 20s been rolling all night. Monkey, so. Yes, I recognize that. But <laughs> if there's another one, it's going to be that kind of night. All right, so this monkey is now dazed. And it has crushed ribs. That's always fun. Um, <laughs> let's see. Effects. This thing is dazed. Now. Uh, damage. Well, the fecal thing, it's not really a damage, but it totally fucked it up. Um, so I'm going <laughs> to give it uh, D6 damage. How am I going to do that? I will just do... I'll just do this. I'll do the claw damage on him. And then I am going to do his... See if he starts puking. <laughs> it's monkey see, monkey do do. <laughs> it passes and doesn't start heaving because, you know, it's having a harder time breathing. Man, this is a weird combat. <laughs> Gamble! It's an the war combat. <laughs> that effects. They're fun. Oh, Those man. monkeys are just chattering. They both seem to be largely messed up and, and dizzy at this point. Though you <laughs> smell the fresh uh, smell of um, monkey feces. Yeah. I'm going to take my 1911 out and pop monkey 8 in the back of the head. Or just shoot it out. Anyway. Okay. Do I'm going to do a full round action, so I'm going to shoot it twice. Do you... Okay, well, it's dazed as it is, so it's not going to be able to get an attack of opportunity on you. And okay. so, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Good thing I did that one. Let's go ahead and do another one. Doink. Hey! One of them sounded good. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> go ahead. And I'm going to take a five foot step. Back. Yeah. All right. All right. And that's my turn. 
fatal. Ah. Uh. There, that there's a dead monkey in front of you, which you had yeah. previously killed in the last episode. Yeah, I kind I kind of want to kick it off and get it uh, over the edge. You could pick it up and, and then like cuddle it, like a little, like a little you baby probably dog. Drag it over there and pop it. Or you could drag it by its tail and just swing it around your head. It's probably no. <laughs> Why not? Because this thing heals itself. I don't want it waking up as I'm trying to throw it off. Yeah, the edge. but think, <laughs> think about how hard it would be for it to use the muscles in its tail to somehow reach over and grab you once you've got the velocity really going. Jesus Christ. Anyway, you do what you need to do, buddy. <laughs> I'm just going to drag it. You can. <laughs> All right, so you can pick it up with an action, and you can move um, uh, six blocks if that's your move. Yeah. You can use a knife. <laughs> yeah, that'll get you right to the edge beside the cable car. Cable car. Is it right about there? Is it pulling it along? One more. See how there's uh, a... I, I, move, I, moved, I moved one to get in front of it. Do you see the you puddle of water down. that's in front of him when you zoom in? No. Zoom in really close in front of Fatal. From oh. his point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a little wobble. A little shimmer. I thought it was just my eyes. And it should be it. Triage. You just right, did a bunch of damage on that monkey. Monkey 8 is not dead. Which one's monkey 6? The, the one that was fighting you. monkey 8? The mm -hmm. one next to you. Yes. That's 5. Mm -hmm. Monkey 6 is the one that was next to you. Yeah, he's dead. I don't care about six. Oh. Uh, five is the one I'm thinking of. Alrighty. You have a clear, uh, clear view to attack him from his yeah, flank. Yeah. So quickly give him double plus two. Him. Add your plus, plus two. Plus two for your flank. Thank, attack. thank you. Blamo. Blamo. Oh, come on. I mean,. Yeah, what a bummer. It's, it's already dying. dying. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Um, and, uh, yeah, that is my turn. Dead hand. So far in your uh, Morse code usage, um, you haven't heard any response back yet. Maybe they're asleep. It's early in the morning. Gunshots from down the hill won't wake them up? Fuck me. Uh, I mean, it's Isle of Wat Noir. I'm, <laughs> Have you ever lived in the city? I'm going to go ahead and just say the the message into the radio. Okay. That's a free action, yes? Yeah. And then I'll have a ready action to respond. I don't with, know. <laughs> well, with, with that being said, like the operation of this thing takes an action. So, you know, you're holding down a switch to talk. Okay. Type well, of then that's, that's what I'm doing. And then waiting for a response. Okay. Paired action to respond when they respond. I don't know how long <laughs> that takes. That's my turn. All right. What the? Hit the wrong button. My bad. <laughs> Your bad. And monkey number eight uh, is no longer stunned or dazed. Uh, let me take that off of there. That's not the right button. This is the right button. Hooray. And that monkey having just been shot. Angrily turns to face its shooter. 
screeching it leaps at you uh, at, at mm -hmm. Gamble. Claws bared. Mm hmm. Uh, moving five feet, uh, it still gets, it can have a, a full attack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Whew. Yeah. So it misses with its bite and its claws. And uh, it was just really angry. So yeah, mm -hmm. good job, monkey. Good job. Gamble, it's your turn to reciprocate. The monkey Fantastic. is now standing within a five foot square of you. <clears throat> yep. Find it. Um, so, in that case, because I don't want to use a ranged weapon and provoke an attack of opportunity, I'm going to slip my handgun away and pull out my new fancy Bowie knife that I have. Ooh, Bowie knife. And I'm going to stab it twice. He's going to stab it twice, he is. Or uh, not at all, because that's how I roll. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. And that's my turn. That's your <laughs> turn. Fatal. Yep. Hey, the monkey, you're taking it out like the trash it is. You're near the edge. Your boots are stepping through a small puddle as the rain drips towards the side and the haze just is right there towards the lip of this place. All right, I take two more steps and then drop, and then drop it out. Sorry. All right, you want to drop it here or here, or here, or here, uh, or here? Right about there, as far away from me as possible. All right, give me a strength. Uh, give me a uh, ranged, uh, just a simple ranged attack. <laughs> the monkey, uh, <clears throat> his body falls off the side and uh, down a good, how, how tall is this thing here? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 feet in the air. So it lands 35 feet away from you, down below. Good. What else would you like to do? Start walking back. Right, mate. All right, there we go. Okay, triage. All right. Ah, Quick Monkey 5 has been dealt with. Sounds like uh, Gamble's got his hands full. So I'm going to move over here and assist him with the monkey by shooting it. Give him your and assist. as I level my barrel towards him, I say, trust me. I'm a professional. Good thing I've got precise shot. And that monkey and is a smear across his boots. That is all. That is all. Dead hand. Hello. <clears throat> you hear... Uh, this uh, this clicking sound, as if someone's trying to pick up a microphone on the other side, and then uh, you hear this, uh, hello. <laughs> hello. I repeat the message. All right. So the message was. Okay, help me out. I don't remember off the top of my head. It's been weeks. Yeah, in game, uh, right in game is still in my short term memory, but I literally don't remember. Is there something about brother? I don't know. It was just brother in Morse code. Oh, I'll just say brother and see what happens. You were looking for your brother. You hear this Russian voice say. Um, oh, wait. You're looking for brother. Yes? I say da in Russian. Ah. So he uh, speaks to you in Russian. He's like, ah, you speak Russian? Привет, Кандила. 
I, I, let me double check, but I'm pretty sure I do. I'm pretty sure you do. I do. Yeah. Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's, just, uh, he's like splendid. Um, you know, um, uh, what can I do for you? Why are you calling? <laughs> I, I'm going to tell him I would rather have this conversation up top. Uh, we currently have a wildlife situation down here. You see, that's exactly what someone trying to set the trap for us would do. Try to get yourself up here, where we are safe. We have seen this one before. Let me ask you a question. What, uh, what is year? Great. You're quizzing me, man. <laughs> Hold on, I have to go look at notes. And of course, chaos is is muted. And he's the guy who takes the notes. Uh, hold on. Oh, son of a bitch! I didn't realize I was muted. Yes, chaos. What year is it? I don't know. Oh, Should be in the calendar. Like... Does the calendar even work? Calendar not selected for this campaign yet. Jason never set it back up. I think it's like twenty twenty two. Yeah, it's it's uh twenty twenty three. Okay, sounds All close. Right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and say 2023. 2023? Shit. I missed New Year's. <laughs> God. I knew it was... I knew I should have... Uh, uh, wait. Um, uh, maybe it's 2022 and you're trying to lie to me, yes? I give him the exact date. And time of day, because I'm looking at my watch. He's like, yes, I know it is early. I'm all mm -hmm. over. Now, uh, why why are you calling us again? Are you part of some sort of rescue team? Or are you... What's it, what is this going on? It's like no, nobody else understands what he's saying. Yeah, I, yeah I know, obviously. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, why am I the one... I'm mumbling to myself, why am I the one talking? Uh, I'm going to tell him without... I don't want to give up too much information, so I'm going to go ahead and just say uh, we we saw your most Morse code message at night, and you're just responding to ah, it. Ah, da da, <laughs> Morse code message. Yes. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Well, you say there's hostile problem down there. Uh, da. Well, would you mind describing the nature of your problem? Easy to deal with regenerative monkeys and mm, invisible da, da. invisible pine mantises, which mm, is the ones we're worried yes, about. Yes, da. <laughs> um, you're as safe in shed for now. Uh, it's relative, but yes. Now I have a question for you. This very serious question. Were you the ones who started the power up? Da. Bliet. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on a moment. I got to talk, boss. Uh, to the boss. Give me a moment. So he um, hear like the, the sound of a microphone being dropped and a little bit of that feedback sound, and then it's silent. All right. Yes, I'm playing the waiting game. And the in the meantime, Jolt, there's a dead monkey next to you. Yeah, I'm going to drag it off the platform. All right. You can eight, easily... I'll, I'll drag Monkey 8 as well. All right. Off the platform they go. Whoop. I'm going to open this door and get into the gondola as well. All righty. And uh, Fatal, what you doing? Uh, I'm probably just going to get put out. <laughs> All right. After a couple of moments, uh, you hear a woman's voice. Um, and it has a different accent. Um, one that you might not be able to pick up on, but there sounds something, sounds something um, slightly Middle Eastern to it. Uh, but, uh, she says, uh, yes, hello, who is this? And she says this in English. 
Hi, we're the team responding to your message. Hmm. That's yes. I, I, I emphasize my text and draw. Yes, Costafer uh, told me that uh, there was someone trying to get a hold of us. You ask if it's Dove. Ask if her ask if her name is Dove. Are you, are you saying to this in character? Yes. Yeah. I, I'm gonna say, am I having the pleasure of speaking to Dove? Uh, there's a uh, silence for a moment, and she says, uh, "There are many birds." You know, perhaps uh, you were speaking to another one. What, who is this dove, and why do you need to speak to this one? I grabbed chaos and put him in front of the microphone because I don't know. I, I didn't read this this report. You can, you can explain. Fuck! That. I didn't do the homework. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Just I already got enough. Me. I got enough shit to remember. Like what? <laughs> Steve or Snowball? Uh, yeah, I mean, he, he can do that in his sleep. No, just say we're we're looking for. Um, I think it's. I'm going to probably butcher this. Eliana Tobia Abijah. Uh, we found her journal, and there is a message to Signal in Morse, which is what the signal was. And then we're responding to the other signal broadcasting from the top of the tower. Mm. I, uh, uh, yes, what you say does check out. I am Dove. Um, uh, who, with whom am I speaking to? Uh, my name is Gamble. The and previous person, the name was Deadhand. Deadhand and Gamble. And you are, uh, an industrial espionage team? Yes. Yes, this is like a, a magnet that just draws us in. It keeps us here. Uh, do you have a way off the island? Potentially, but we need the communications tower to get it. All right, well, there, um, I, Costifer seems to think that uh, you are not pretending that you are something else, but um, let me ask you, she starts asking you some uh, s simple mathematics questions that increasingly get harder. <laughs> All right. I, I get it. I get annoyed. Shove chaos out of the way and answer all the questions. <laughs> okay. Uh, she says very good. Uh, then she asks uh, some pop culture questions um, from the previous uh, year. Uh, she says, uh, uh, "You know who is uh, who is uh, who was Time Magazine's person of the year for?" the latter part of last year. We had a magazine for that. Um, crap, it's not in the story list anymore. <laughs> oh, no. There's no note for that anymore. Like, I, I'm going to just say some fancy pants CPO. Yeah. What's his face? <laughs> Triage. Marksman. Yeah, Marksman. Yeah. Yeah. That's Was it David Marksman? James Marksman. James Marksman. Hey. <laughs> yeah, is, mm, I'm not particularly impressed with the way you answered that, but uh, uh, maybe you're not into business news. And then <clears throat> she starts asking about like some crazy like war stuff that never happened concerning Martians and aliens that came down. And she's asking if she if you remember that Christmas when. You know, the Martians came and, and everyone had got electrocuted and, uh, you know, most of the planet was killed. Do you remember that? It was a terrible time. Can no, I have... sounds, sounds like you were on some pretty major drugs. All yeah. Right. Can I have what you're smoking? Because that sounds awesome. So you do not believe that this, uh, you know, occurred? I mean, if it did, I thought I would notice, but I didn't. So I don't think so. Mm, all right. Perhaps you were you. Well, I will... Tell Costifer to keep an eye on you. Um, I will allow you guys to ride in the gondola, come up here. But, like I said, we are watching you. And I am not very trustworthy uh, from my time here. So. Yeah, no, we don't blame you. No tricky moves. 
is not uh, it is not in your best interest. <laughs> okay, Castifer, you can uh, override. Uh, turn the override off. And he's like, da. And the light on the control board switches over to green. He says, she says, uh, we will be waiting for you. <laughs> Run, chaos. <laughs> Did I you don't push know what this chaos is you guys keep talking about. I mean, I get in there. why can't I get in there? You gotta line yourself up right with the door. Stop. Wiggle in. You gotta wiggle in. <laughs> Did I hit the button? Yes, you did. did okay, you, did. thank you. <laughs> I assume I did. All right, I'll I'll go with it since chaos, this chaos person <laughs> thinks know, that you right? did, right? <clears throat> anyway, the... all right. So give me a moment to uh, to set up the next scene. Jeez, hurry up, Vincent or Victor. Jeez, Victor. What's going on? And as we're going up in the gondola, once we get within shouting distance, I will shout, It's okay, I'm Canadian. Let's <laughs> say, so, you know, this is the phobia verse. Canadians could be total assholes. Oh, yeah. shit. Total <laughs> assholes. That hand just vanished. Oh, God, triage just vanished, too. Oh, God. What's happening? Good drugs, Tom. <laughs> ah. Oh, I'm alone. We're all alone. <laughs> Pum, 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 pum. Let's see. Let's do that. Bien. And one other thing I need to adjust real quick. There we go, and I'm just making sure I haven't forgotten anything. All right, I think we cool. Whoa! Giant question mark. <laughs> Isn't that the most amazing giant question mark in a box you've ever seen? The red. Mm, not like anything else you've ever seen. Well, we're on the left. <laughs> and there's monkeys down there. Yeah, actually, if you were on the left, you would have been swapped around. Yeah, I would be over here. Did you just say monkeys flying around? Yeah, there's monkeys flying around. Now, if you look at the other car, there's monkeys on it. Oh. And we say fine monkeys. I was like, what? <laughs> ooh, ooh. One biologist really like fucking monkeys with other things. Yeah, you don't want to know about that. I, I honestly don't. Yeah, you don't. You really just don't. So. <clears throat> Yeah, while the uh, 
while the car begins to go up, uh, you do see out the window that there are some mankeys. Because you love mankeys. Oh god, are they on the line? Yes. It's going to suck for them. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, they're just riding the... Uh, it looks like they're just riding the, the line across for you. Or the same thing that you guys are on. <laughs> I'm trying to find this real quick. Huh? Yeah. I don't know why clicking on that doesn't bring up the step, but it should, and it makes me so angry. I don't even see any monkeys. No. South. Oh, okay. Oh, monkey to the south. When did they get in? Monkey. So there, this monkey, he's on the thing here, and then the other monkey. Everyone's favorite friend, other monkey. Delete. All right, so these monkeys are riding along, and uh, you see that they're actually cl crawling along the uh, the top of the the wire as it's going uh, up, up, up and away. Um, and monkey initiative. There we go. Go ahead and roll initiative, guys. Oh boy. I know you guys oh, love monkeys. Okay. You guys love monkeys. <laughs> that did not work at all. Let's try that again. There we go. Oops, that's not the button. That's not the button I was looking for, but I'll take it. All right, so the monkeys are <laughs> coming along towards the car there. Triage. You can see them One. crawling along the rope, uh, the, 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 I mean, the, the cable, the steel cable. Uh -huh. And heading in your direction, you don't know how intelligent these things are, but you know they could just be a nuisance, or they could just be uh, looking to figure out how to get in there and try to throw poop at you again. Oh, well, I think I'm going to have to put a stop to that. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to shoot at that first monkey mm -hmm. through a window. So I'm assuming there's no glass. Oh, the window. There is glass in the window, in fact. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. We have <laughs> glass and the doors are closed. Like, they yeah. can't get in. I would just chill. <laughs> now, so now the windows out. are able to be opened. You can open them like a school bus window. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to open the window. I'm assuming that takes a move action. It does. And I'm going to shoot at that first monkey very carefully without shooting the wire. Uh, with my standard action. All right, don't shoot. Uh, don't roll a one. I did not. <laughs> uh, 
Wow. Hey, look at that. I get an extra action. Let's look at that. The window, it just, it gives, you know, the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and for my extra action, I suppose I will shoot it again. Well, okay. I was going to say, though, like, you used one action to open the window, used your other action to shoot, and then you oh, shot, the action. and then you shot again, and then you shot because again. Because gave me another action. Okay. I'm just making sure that... Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just making... I'm following the trail here. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah, that's, uh, that's that. Okay. Are you have Does it fall off? Does this monkey fall off? <laughs> Crazy questions here. Why would you even say that? Oh, I'm trying to win at D&D, Jace. Oh, the monkey fell off. <laughs> oh, no. The monkey fell off oh, and indeed no. falls off. Yes. It falls into the distance below and it bounces across some rocks and lands on a little dirt road. And then it explodes. Oh, I'm not even joking. Oh, I am not even joking. Oh no. Oh no. But uh you're not sure if it's because the monkey was strapped with dynamite. You didn't see any monkey strapped with dynamite before, like recently, so that wouldn't make any sense. Could be landmines below or something. <laughs> it just happened to land on a mine. It's a winding road that leads all the way up to the uh the top of this this long um winding uh mountain peak here, so uh. Crap, that does make sense. Anyway, Dead Hand. Hi. What you doing, pal? Uh, Someone's shooting at monkeys behind you. Nothing, and nothing's happening in front of you that you can see. And there was an explosion as it fell? Yeah, you heard an explosion. It, it like kind of echoed through, sort of like off the cliff can, side. Can I, I know this is like a stretch, but can I do like a demolitions check to try to figure out what kind of explosion that was? Yeah, sure. Give me, uh, it's more of a knowledge check, but. What do you need? Mm, what is, uh, what goes well with your demolition? Uh, just give me a demolitions check. I was going to say physical sciences. I don't know. It's echoey. It is echoey. I, <laughs> you, um, you think that it might have been a, um, one of those uh, placeable mines. One of those... Uh, I can't think of the word right now. But they're modern, and people use them in video games. Claymores? That's correct. <laughs> yeah, okay. As I'm going to mention casually, but loudly enough, looks like they mined the path up. Well, I'm glad we didn't drive. <laughs> yeah. And that's my turn, because I'm not going to shoot at monkeys. I'm chilling. <laughs> For you guys, it's a pastime. For me, I have a shotgun, so... I'm going to take the dead hand route and not shoot at this monkey. Okay. Come on, you got a sniper rifle. Five dollars <laughs> a is, bullet! <laughs> yeah, is, is that monkey worth five to ten dollars? <clears throat> you know, are our lives worth five to ten dollars? That much? You you'll think? you'll you'll get it by the next round. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is too much trust to be placing in triage. If, try, if triage is good at one thing, it's hammering the nails of this island. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I was worried because that monkey was just dying. All right. So this monkey. This monkey had roast beef. Oh shit! <laughs> it's got some particularly rancid poops. It's got a taste for meat. Oh, it came under within triage uh, shooting range. Fantastic! And while it's moving into this range here, uh, I want—I need everyone to give me a um, a reflex save, please. 
Oh no. Uh, in the tower. In the tower, you said? Oops, wrong one, sorry. That's better. All right. Uh, Gamble, this, uh, everyone, the whole thing starts to, like, shake. The wire feels like that someone just added, like, uh, another gondola to it all of a sudden. And there's, like, this weird ripple happening in the, uh, in the gondola. And of the, of the four of you, uh, three of you managed to hold on tightly while Gamble, uh, you're not really messed up or anything, but give me a, a balance check. Oh. Okay. Defenestration. All right, you are not defenestrated because the window is not <laughs> on that side of the building. Any uh, anyway, so uh, the gondola. Anyway, uh, the monkey itself uh, is hanging on to the um, onto the, uh, the wire with one hand, and it's uh, yeah. That's uh, what's happening with that. Gamble. Uh, okay. Hang on. I'm gonna turn around and shoot over Triage's shoulder at the monkey. So just in case somehow the monkey caused the entire gondola line to shake. <laughs> you know there's been weirder things on this island. Hey, just barely. Nice. All right, that's my turn. Hmm. <laughs> you know, let triage finish it and have fun. I oh, knew it. Great. So this uh, this creature here appears with a buzzing of its wings and its chattering of its claws, and it uh, jumps forward. Uh, it's kind of hopping along. It climbs uh, like claw over claw, and then it like does a leap uh, and flies through the air. And then it <laughs> chomps, starts chomping down on uh, this here monkey. Great, D D hey, fatal. That's worth five dollars a bullet. Just, just in case you were curious. <laughs> Lucky monkey. Lucky for the monkey. I'm very concerned this big ass praying mantis is managing to balance on this wire. <laughs> uh, okay, I've only got one round left in my magazine. It's got lots of legs. It's about to have fewer. I spend a move action to reload my grenade launcher with a beehive. Oh, God. Roll a uh, one. <laughs> Roll. Uh... <laughs> You're just itching for us to fall. That'd be something. He's all DPK. <laughs> DPK. I want to play Wheel of Time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So Which I want to do that too. I like this character. This thing falls, and the monkey falls with it. Yes. And you guys eventually make your way up the mountain to the next scene. Woo! Woo. You know, I'm just going to reload my mag and toss the extra bullet. I just love pretending Jace is trying to told TPK us so he can play Wheel of Time sooner. Like, I know he's not, but it's just really fun. <laughs> That's just your secret hopes. I get it. I understand. <laughs> but now I can rush things, though, just to get to it quicker. Guess I know you guys want to play that, too. Why not both? So do you have another day in the week that you could give to playing D&D? &D? Yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess technically Wednesdays because I'm just babysitting other people playing D and D. All right, but let's talk about right now and right here, <laughs> right here, right now. Has it updated? Have you gotten your new map? It's all black. Yeah, we're still waiting. Okay. Usually there's a question mark if we're waiting on it, though. This is just all black. This, huh? I right. think the layer is just not visible. Maybe it's just being irritable. Sounds like it needs a Snickers. Maybe it does, man. It's mad that I left the Fantasy Grounds Discord server. Hey, things. Hey, it worked. Huh? I did a thing. Yep. Look at that. You did a learning. thing. You're learning every gosh damn day. Okay. There we go. So as you approach here, uh, this thing continues to uh, to slowly. You can see that there's no one manning this. And uh, the thing is going to continue around as it, um, unless you guys get off while it's moving. Well, let's get off this thing. Yep. Here, I'll move you guys past the weird door. Thank you. Because I don't want to try. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. <sighs> Much like the place the, that you came from, uh, you are finding yourself. Um, this is really so small. Yeah. There we go. Now, we sh should be seeing more, so I want to see why. Isn't that working real quick? Uh huh. Hold on a second before you guys wander off. I'm just trying to figure out why something's not working. The people need to be at the places and things, and they're not. Oh, I see. Oh. I see why. That was a weird thing, I guess. Is there no one in the control booth? That's correct. There's no one in the control booth. I'm going to push the button to stop the cable cars. All right. Does this uh, feel like a trap to you guys? I mean, everything feels like a trap on this island anymore. I think this is more of a caution thing than a trap thing. Hey, hey Dad, you want to check for explosives just for giggles? Uh, always. I mean, you've already <laughs> opened one door. Uh, nothing that blew up. Me. And didn't blow up? Nothing so far. Uh, I'm going to give it a good old look. Is that a search or a spot? That's going to be a search. I don't expect to find anything, so let's see what happens. Yeah, so far so good. <laughs> nothing nothing seems to be uh, trapped here. Fuck. Just spilled paint. <sighs> At least there's that. Shall we head down the stairs? Yeah, might as well. See that there's a uh, a box that's right next to you guys there. The doors uh, looks like it's been recently opened, and it looks like they might have been using this to. Once you open it up, you can find that there's a radio with CB sort of attachment to it, and uh, a couple of switches. One that says. Uh, can, uh, gondola power override. Cool. Hold on, guys. Jeff, can you move me? I spilled some paint. I'm trying to pick this up. Are you sniffing paint? What I spilled sn some paint. Oh, well, you know, that happens when you sniff it. <laughs> I don't recommend it. I can't it. move. Oh, wrong door. The paint, it has paralyzed his brain. 
I'm listening. Keep going. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. You can mm-hmm. see that there is a tower up on the uh, the top of the hill there. And it seems to so be... a ladder there? Up in the middle? Aye, there he is. I'll keep my rifle pointed at the ground, but at the ready. Hold on a second. I just can't even with these sound effects. Top. Mute, Sorry. Your, mute yourself. Was he bouncing on a spring mattress? No, he was lubing it up. I mean, yes, he was cleaning paint. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, Going up the steepest part of that, I'm going to need you to give me uh, a couple of climb checks. Oh, okay. I did not know that was steep. I will go up the normal way then. All right. I'm going to move dead hand for top. Since he's busy. Zergut. Fatal, what are you going to be doing? Looking around for a sniper position. Seeing if there's anything watching us. Or if anywhere I can mm. go in the event of <clears throat> you def- something going down. You definitely get the sense that something is probably watching you. There was a tower uh, up at the top of the building. Um, there's two layers to it. And... I'm going to show it to you real quick. Hold on a second. You see that? There you go. Fatal? Yep. I see it. Um, yeah, I guess I'll head for the ladder. All right. So the the structure, it looks like a ranger platform. One of those fire watch places. Yeah. There are four uh, uh, strong wooden poles set into concrete. There's a ladder going up the middle, and um, the uh, the hatch at the top seems to be closed, but the wood seems to be uh, made out of planks of wood above you. All right, at least the wood's made out of wood. Mm-hmm. Wood is good. <laughs> it's good that it's wood's made of wood. Uh, yeah, I'm going to climb up, uh, whisper to uh, Gamble to cover me, and uh, once I get to the top, I'll knock on the wood. For luck. Anybody up here? All right, so um, you hear the, the sound of a woman's voice uh, with a strong Brit- pr- posh British accent. Uh, she says... Uh, what would you like? Um, I'd, I'd like to come in and talk to you. You know, we're, uh, sorry, slip it into me, Irish. Uh, <laughs> this is my wife's character, and I don't do a good posh British. Uh, but she says, uh, you know, that, that they, they're not interested in, in, you know, finding any Jesus if that's what you're selling. <laughs> uh, how about finding way off the island? Uh, she says, go ahead and open the door, but open them slowly and let me see your hands. I will do as she instructs, with my rifle strapped to my back. All right, so as you uh, do that, looking around, uh, you can see that there's a small garden set up here, with various plants and planters, um, and there is a stairs that winds up and around south of you. And at one of the landings is a dark haired woman, um, holding a, uh, let's see here. Where is her? Where is her thing here? I like being able to like, sometimes when you click on them, you can pull up their stats, but it's not pulling up today for some reason. So hold on. I'll tell you. Let 
Hmm. Notes, my notes. My a horse for my my kingdom for my notes. No, I don't have that. Very good. All these damn wheel of time notes. That's a joke. He's a joke. I make joke. <laughs> <laughs> Dog. Dog, comrade. He's funny. That's true. Oh, there it is. That's the missing notebook of notes. All right. So she is carrying like a um, a, a sporting rifle. Remington made, mm -hmm. and um, she's wearing like a, a black leather jacket, and um, basically she's she's looking at you, you know, with her gun ready, and she says, uh, you know, she lets you know that she, I wouldn't try anything if I were you. She lets you know that she she won some uh, prestigious medal at some prestigious British sounding uh, competition I keep my hands up and say it's okay ma'am don't worry I'm Canadian <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she smirks at that <clears throat> and uh, you know, uh, she says who else is here uh, so I'm here with uh, three others. We were sent here to accomplish certain goals, and uh, well, we would like to leave this place now. Yeah, wouldn't uh, wouldn't a lot of us would now? All right. Well, I uh, suppose you guys might as well come up. No, uh, no funny business. Thank you for not saying monkey business. <laughs> uh, screw you for saying monkey business. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm a, I'm a holler up to triage. Like, hey, uh, I'm assuming it's safe since I haven't heard a gunshot yet. Yeah, uh, come on up. Just uh, stow your weapon. Campbell just lets his hang down on its sling and he starts climbing the ladder. Right on. Uh, you make it up to... Uh... Up to here. I follow. So yeah, uh, Gamble's going to say, since he read uh, the journal, it's like, you know, I have a feeling you're probably queen, aren't you? Oh, you've heard of me. <laughs> well, yeah, sure. Yeah, she um, has a, a just, it's <laughs> like a, like a silly ironic joke because she knows that, she knows that it must have been mentioned in the, the journal. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm literally just sitting here as a paragraph that says, like, a British woman came from the jungle. She was carrying a hunting rifle. Like, oh, all right. <laughs> Can I make a knowledge check to... Or did, is she wearing that symbol on her anywhere? Um. Yeah, you can identify that symbol on uh, on part of her jacket, yeah. Uh, what am I rolling here? That symbol is to determine what it is. It's a streetwise. Streetwise, I, out of character. I think I know what it is, but uh, let's see if Triage knows. Okay, uh, is it Edison? It is. It's Edison. It's uh, the team called Blackout. Edison. Damn. <laughs> uh, triage says, "Well, you're from Blackout." Yeah, and she looks at your patch. She's like, I don't recognize yours. Uh, we're not good luck. Great. Just what we need. I thought you said there was four of you. Yeah, our friend doesn't like the inside too much. I'll be crushing to get up. Bit claustrophobic. And quiet. Oh, right. there he is. Right on. <laughs> uh... She uh, pulls out <clears throat> a little 
handheld device. It looks like some sort of white phaser. And she says, I need all of you to hold still. This uh, isn't going to hurt. And then she fires a little red laser beam at dead hand. <laughs> I brace myself. By dead hand. Okay. Uh, she hits you in the forehead. And she looks at um, at the device. And she says, all right, you're okay. You can move to the bottom of the stairs, red cap. I uh, shrug and go to the bottom of the stairs. Wait, that was already so good. There we go. All right, and uh, she repeats the process uh, with triage, and then fatal, and then gamble, and she checks the readout each time, and she's like, "Yeah, you guys are human." Yeah, we're not gonna uh, rip out of our skin and turn into big bugs or anything. Good. <laughs> Because I'd shoot you. <laughs> what, what exactly are you checking? What uh, exactly are you checking for? Oh, she pulls it out and then she displays that it's just a handheld laser thermometer, and she just she says that she's checking to make sure that uh, everyone's within uh, the body temperature. The the bugs tend to run really hot. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> Wish we knew that a couple days ago. So uh, in that case, uh, Gamble's going to take. Take his little thermal monocular out of his bag and look at her with it. <laughs> uh, it looks like she has a normal body temperatures with most of the heat in her head and upper chest. No, yeah, good. I guess you're human too. I should hope so. Come on, <laughs> gentlemen, follow me. And she leads you guys up the stairs and up onto the cabin itself okay who's getting their jergens out like seriously <laughs> i'm shaking something i know i <laughs> know you are <laughs> I mean, this british i have a thing for british chicks i'm sorry <laughs> Duh, that's my wife you're talking about. Literally like the rubbing <laughs> lotion on your hand sound. It like, puts come the on. lotion on the skin or else it gets those again. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh, crikey. All right, so uh, she says uh, she leads the way into the place. Um, she says you might as well come in. It's a little cramped in here. <laughs> so it is nice rug excuse me I pointed the bearskin rug oh yes it came with the place <laughs> I give her a, kind of a second look like wait a minute <laughs> come on he's Canadian he would never say that <laughs> uh, this guy appears at the door um ah. And he sort of looks in and says, Ah, is these the new uh, strays you have brought us? And Queen says, Jesus, These aren't my strays. I think these are Dove's strays. And outside you could hear um, another woman's voice as uh, you recognize uh, someone who you've never seen before, but who uh, has dark hair. And kind of gray blue eyes, with a uh, oh. sort of olive, olive tan complexion. That would be Dove. And she introduces herself as Dove. Uh, the guy is Costfer. Uh, you note that he is uh, got a uh, bandaged up leg uh, and is walking with a limp, with uh, some sort of like piece of wood wrapped around, kind of as a splint. And, I uh, say, mind if I take colors. a look at that leg? Mm, yes, well, why? Are you a doctor or something? A uh, combat medic, yeah. Oh, okay. I think I that is acceptable. Uh, where do you want me to go? In bed? Um, on table? On floor? Tables are good. Tables. 
Uh, okay. I keep hitting. And if someone has fresh water, that'd be really helpful. <laughs> We've been washing everything with vodka since we got here. Vodka. Hmm. It's clean. And fresh water <laughs> is, uh, is coming down from sky right now. And, Great. uh, Dove says, hold on. She's like, there's a cistern just for this. And she goes, get some, some water from the sky. All right. Sky water. Water from the sky. And I check out his leg. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's got some, um, he's got some gangrenous issues that are starting to come in from a bad break. Uh, looking at Ooh. the leg, it looks like, uh, he shattered it from some sort of impact, uh, landing on, uh, it wrong, probably from more than three or four stories. I'd say you fall off the tower. It's not tower, mm. but, uh. Plenty big fall, just same, yes. I Ooh. go into my back. It pack. smells like old onions that Baba Yaga brings. Well, just before yeah, she kills you. Sugar, um, I pull out a bottle of scotch and a bottle of vodka. Uh, and I say, left or right? Uh, he grabs the vodka. <laughs> All right, I put the scotch back. He takes a uh, big pull of the vodka. Ah, uh, yes, very good. Ah, I, I, I recognize this bottle. Is from uh, command center down there, yes? That's right. <laughs> yes, I have drank out of this bottle before. It's good to see you, oh, old God. friend, he says. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, good. I do have a surgery kit. Okay. I am going to have to make use of the treat injury skill, specifically now would I have to treat disease or poison with the gangrene count as that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, DC 15 check. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And then he has to make a saving throw if I succeed. Okay. So let's see if I can get a DC 15 treat injury. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> let's say somehow I get the feeling you won't have a problem with that. And clean up the wound as best I can, cutting away any dead tissue I could, that I need to. Oof. So you brought some of the, the green juice with you, right? Oh, that's right. <laughs> we should probably ask them before we start injecting them with things on this island. You know, they've been here longer. Right. Well, uh, <laughs> let's see, where is it? The, uh, ah, yeah. I say, okay, I've got this experimental thing from down there. Which, wait, 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 which one is it? Uh, antitox. Oh, antitox? Yeah. Let, this... me, let me see that vial. I, sh I hand it to him. Okay, he looks at it with his eyes, and he reads it, and he looks at it, he says, okay, yeah, that is antitox. I've, I've used it on myself, so. Yes, yes, sure of course it's... you have. I'm just and, not, not to be uh, distrustful, but uh, uh, there is lots of bad things that one can get injected here. Oh yeah, yes. like mutagenic inducer, and I hold up another vial. Ah, Christ! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's not going in you. Don't worry. Uh, and then Queen is like, "Yeah, that's that's bad news right there." And Dove is like, "What?" And uh, Queen says. Remember that guy, yes, sir, I was telling you about? And she was like, oh, okay, yeah. And Gamble's going to be like, oh, yeah. Yes, sir. He's a, he's a smear inside of a house that's probably burned down by now. Ugh. 
they both give a uh, well mostly queen gives like this just like Ugh, and shivers yeah, he, uh. he's the reason i'm wearing a seal corp hoodie he uh melted my other one. Oh my god i didn't know it got, had gotten that bad yeah acid vomit so where did less where did you find him um in one of the bungalows down in Le village or whatever the hell it is mm. the canadian speaks french Le village okay <laughs> tell me about the okay so what did i need to roll for your surgery thing uh he needs to roll a fortitude save mm -hmm. um, or against whatever the dc of the the quote unquote poison yeah. uh, of the gangrene is okay or what happens uh if he passes his body's able to fight it off if he fails he's still infected okay I will tell you that uh, you you tried. <laughs> That's probably all I would know at the point. Yeah. That's um, correct. And then I inject him with the antitox just in case. Okay. And that'll definitely uh, have an effect. Followed up by treatment two. Give him a uh, pile of hit points back. Okay. Uh, treatment two was where is it? Two D eight plus four. It's not. I'm gonna dust wrap it on the side. Twelve. Okay. He's like, uh, he's like, I don't know if it is the medicine. Or if it is this vodka, but uh, thank you very much, comrade. I appreciate you. I clink his bottle with the bottle of scotch and take a swig. Uh, he moves the limp uh, out of the way. I'm going to go lay down if it is okay with you ladies. And they both give him uh, an affirmative. And he goes and lays down. I suggest that he keeps off the leg. Dot, I was not going to be playing jumping jacks, he says. <laughs> from closed door. <laughs> and here you are, standing in a small, cramped cabin on the top of a swaying tower in the middle of a rainstorm <laughs> with two pretty ladies who are looking at you smelly men and are just standing there looking at you. Um, is it just the three of you up here? Yeah. Dove says, so far. I look at the others and say, how would you like to get off the island? That's well, what you were discussing earlier. What is the roll to see if somebody's lying? Sense, sense motive. motive. I will roll a sense motive. Not any good at it, but fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and put that in the dice tower, actually. My bad. Can I redo it? Yes, please. All right. I'll just, they seem to be sincere. You're okay. not. You're not getting any weird vibes off of them. If that's what you're asking, Mister Dead Hand. Okay. Uh, I as Jolt says that, I'm going to say also. Is everything work in working order here? Is there anything you need fixed? Does the communication system work? Uh. <laughs> The communication system uh, probably needs you to look at. We don't have the skills to, to get this. Basically, there's some sort of like uh, jamming going on, and it's controlled by the tower, but we don't want to destroy the radio to get a signal out just in case. You know, like, if we were to take down the tower, we're pretty sure the jamming would come down. But we don't. We wouldn't be able to to get a message out and still be stranded here. Okay, I can take a look at that. Yeah, our uh, she, uh, queen says our our uh, um, tech guy uh, vanished on the island at some point, and yeah, and then Dove also says yeah, same <laughs> same thing. Uh, <laughs> our 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 grease monkey sort of vanished. 
Oh man, I think there was mention of him in this journal I'm reading. So, oh yeah. If you point to me, I can get to work. Um. So yeah. She right. dove walks past you, steps outside the door, and leans over the tower and points to a yellow structure that is just outside the the building on the ground on the ground level. There is a tower coming up out of it, and at the bottom is a uh, some sort of fifteen to twenty foot by fifteen foot. Um, sealed machine box. Cool. I, I said, hey, Fatal, you want to wash my back while I do this? Sure. And then I make my way down the tower, which is this way, this way, and then... And all the way just... down. Can I move this? I can't. No, you're moving me. Cool. Even better. Why can't I see anything? Oh, because I hit the wrong button. I offer the bottle to uh, Dove and Queen before I offer it to Gamble. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> they uh, they thank, uh, not in thanks, but they both pass. Fair enough. Gamble? Nah, he, I'm good. Put the lid back on into the backpack. So uh, Gamble actually pulls Dove's journal out and hands it to her. Be like, here, I found this. Mm. Don't know if you want to keep it, but that's how we found out about you. Ah, well, thank you. She uh, she takes it, looks it over, and she says, I uh, didn't expect to see this again, to be honest. And she... Oh, wait. Puts it in a pocket of her pants. I fish her on my neck and pull out... Uh... Crosses dog tags, <laughs> and say, "I th I think you knew this person." Uh, she is like, uh, "Have you been grave robbing?" No, no, these were uh, outside. Um, there was a place filled with bug people, and uh, they had overrun the entire facility. Which, where, uh, which place is this you were speaking of? It's 42. 42? Bug people? Yeah. Yeah, the people ones that... Uh, no, I know about shower. bug people. It's just surprising that the whole place is... Last time I saw it, it was not that way. Every single one of them. It's pretty gross. Of course, they're all dead now. But... Yeah. yeah. Uh, so the, the island, the island's a little fucked up since you guys got here. Yeah, the two ladies fucked up. just look at each other with the, the shared look of like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, and it's sort of like a nodded, like as you're talking about the island being fucked up, they're just like, still not like looking at each other, having shared looks about you know <laughs> the information you guys are bringing them. <laughs> but yeah, that's a go ahead. No, you go ahead. I'm done. Oh, okay. Gamble's gonna be like, "That's that's that's about it. We came here to uh, get access to the communication system, and your journal just gave us another excuse and a good way to get up here." So, well, welcome to the clubhouse. <laughs> um, you're welcome to sleep under the roof, but uh, you won't be offended if one of us stays on guard when at all times. Uh, matching guard with whomever you post guard with, of course. Yeah, that's fine. Very good. You understand? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this place is a hellhole. Mm, yes, yeah. and there's a lot of very shitty people here. Queens, like... Oh, uh, we've killed lots of them. Yes. Yeah. So, meanwhile, down where Dead Hand is, you find uh, that you're at the uh, this large um, electrical box that has panels that open up uh, that swing upwards so that the rain ends up landing on the top of them with a little pads of uh, you know of water on metal and um, 
I need you to uh, examine what you got to go got going on here um, with a uh, knowledge technology check. Check. Sure. Yeah. You don't have that in the tower? Nah. You can put it in your normal thing. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's pretty easy to uh, to figure out what's going on with this. Basically, there is um, um, uh, a part of the coding that allows there to be a, a block, uh, like a, a signal um, jamming, that r basically extends the uh, the circumference of the island. Um, and all you would have to do pretty much is change the code out and. Um, you know, basically give an exception that you can turn it off. And that'll take uh, probably about a half hour's worth of coding. What would it take to do... I hate that I'm in the rain, but what would it take to do to make that a uh, sent command to turn it off and on through a remote location? Through a remote location? Um trying to think about what is uh you're looking to be able to do it from like yeah from like a laptop or something yeah. or i can hook it up to the radio tower and send the radio tower a signal and the tower will you can you can actually set it up through the island's network okay uh how much more work would that do and what do you need me to do to do it all right i'm gonna need you to uh give me a uh, computer use check is this one of those I can't take 10 on? That's correct. Okay. Uh, is this one of those I should probably... Nah. I, I, uh, nah. Let's go for it. Wow. Terrible. Is it good enough, though? Yeah. Damn You're uh, starting the process on that thing here. Oh, uh, okay. As the rain drips down on you, you're sort of like taking shelter underneath the... Uh, the metal Little door army. and you're like yeah got your computer plugged in through usb or something um all right so while that's happening i need you to give me a listen check in the dice tower dead hand oh, fuck me i am watching him do this just in case it helps okay Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, and Fatal, I'm going to need a, a spot check from you. All right, very good. All right, so Dead Hand, you think that you hear the sound of some sort of rattle? Uh, Not like a rattlesnake, though, but more like a f some sort of tribal fetish. Okay. You know, like... and it's coming out from underneath the rain. Um, uh, you thought it well, might have been the rain at first, but it, it seems to be coming from the other side of uh, where you're at, coming from behind you. Probably a good... Um, a good 50 feet maybe it's kind of, it's on the loud side considering the rain uh, and oh, you know uh, behind me or, or where i'm facing into the tower uh, the... it is coming from the west the west thank you mm -hmm. now um fatal you see that the uh, the trees are shaking um just at the far side of the map in the upper left I'm going to relay that to Dead Hand and give him the information that the trees are shaking. That he might want to either hurry up or get out of there. I'm going to do the latter. I'm going to radio in uh, possible contact to the west. What is it? Uh, Mantis friends from my guess. Great. Uh, I'm gonna take. Uh, I guess I'm gonna take a action to stop what I'm doing without, you know, disturbing my work. Mm -hmm. And does I'll take a that one action, full action. It's um, it's a 
a half action to stop. Like, okay. You know, it's an action, one of your two actions. Standard okay. Action. And I am then going to start booking it. Okay. Are you taking, you're unplugging your computer too? Or are you leaving your computer? There's no, there's no, unless there's something for me to just leave my computer there. Uh huh. Is there like a spot where I can just have it like not in the rain on the floor? Um, not really, considering that the rain's kind of coming in on a, somewhat on a sideways okay, angle too. I'm, I'm taking it. So if it's another action to take it, yeah, I'll take it. And that'll stow be it. all right. So you've done that, and you stow it. And um, so far, nothing's happening yet. If you yeah. want to take the, that opportunity to the run somewhere, yeah, I'm gonna a full run towards the ladder. Towards the sound. Ladder. To the. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's run. Let's run to the invisible thing. All right, go ahead. Run to the ladder. Uh, that's how many? Twenty-four. It's it's enough to get to the ladder. I'm guessing. Yeah, at full run, you can get to the ladder. Okay, and then from there, uh, start climbing. Unless something you want me to do something else. No, you climb. You climb like a a little chicken, very quickly, up the ladder. Uh, to and the I'm top, on the second. Yeah. Where you pant. But you have a much bigger view. Uh, I'm looking over. Give me a spot check. Mr. Dead Hand. Again, a Mr. Fatal as well. Would you like me to since I'm out there? Yeah. Wow. All right. The, uh, yeah, the western trees seem to be concealing something. Um, there's some sort of movement in the trees, but you can't identify if it's one of the mantis things that Dead Hand was suggesting that it was or what. And that is. Uh I'm going to start climbing. <laughs> start climbing the stairs. Okay. I'll be panting on my way up and be like, I don't, I haven't seen it. There's something out there, but uh, I'm not taking chances. What's going on? Dove says as she comes out the door. Possible invisible mantis friends. We think we haven't spotted them yet. Something moving in the trees. Mm, something moving in the trees. We haven't had anything happen up here recently. We've had scientists, you know, those feral ones, we've had them make their way up here every once in a while, but most of the time they end up just hitting mines on the roadway. Uh, perhaps they're starting to get clever. Might be, or it might be the mantis we're finding down there. They're invisible up until the moment they attack, but they make a lot of noise. Yes, uh, yes, we've seen those. Um, hmm. Well, Please tell me something new. <laughs> no, I hope. Yeah, right. That's all we need. Something awful that we haven't seen. She says. Um, she starts pacing. Uh, and comes down past Fatal. Uh, she stops and she looks at him for a second. Actually, now that she sort of takes him in in the light, uh, head to toe, and uh, she sort of keeps her judgment to herself, but has a thoughtful moment. And then she steps up to the window and uh, bangs on the 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 thin pane of glass and says, "Costfer, just be wary." Uh, the new people seem to, seem to have heard something uh, rustling in the bushes. He says, Duh, I am not worried. <laughs> Good for him. I mean, they're probably used to it by now, like after three months. Like, oh. <laughs> you know, we got a couple days, you know, they've been here for a while. I'm going to go ahead and start looking at the opposite side because I'm not going to assume they're stupid. No, you see her coming around as she's also doing the same thing. I can't do um, I'm going to head down the stairs to the next level. All right. I'm going to do a 
spot check on the other side. Just right, right, spot ahead. and listen, because really what I'm looking for is the listen. Uh, where's my listen at? So you uh, like to use my, my thermal monocular again and ah, scan the ridge spot. line, the tree line. Do I have thermal? I think I just have night. All right. Uh, Gamble, go ahead and give me that uh, that spot result in the dice tower. All right. Get a bonus for the monocular? Mm-hmm. I got it. What bonus? Okay. Just, it's more of a, does it help? <laughs> you see some, um, uh, Gamble, you see some human-sized uh, heat signatures towards the uh, the base of some of the trees peeking out um there's a good cluster of trees like this area that the map surrounds or has is like a cleared out area but you could just imagine that everything that's off the map that the dark areas uh would be mm -hmm. a good clustered of trees so there is uh definitely um looks like either two or three guys um hovering down um near the trunk of the the taller of the trees that's right there so, so Gamble's like, gonna say out loud, "It's like, hey, uh, thermal shows man-shaped objects, so hopefully not mantises, unless they're immune to thermal scanning, which wouldn't surprise me." Great. So probably feral scientists again. <laughs> uh, Dub says, "Yes, that wouldn't surprise me." Well, uh, don't get hit by any of their darts if they use blowguns on you. Um, and, uh, yes, try not to let them take you captive. That is my <laughs> recommendation if, uh, if there's problems. Uh, How high up off the ground is this landing platform? How high off the ground is the landing platform? give that to you as a sort of a visual aid so it's going to be 10 foot squares i'm guessing okay it's so like 60 feet yeah cool <laughs> and uh right down here near the garden it looks like they have a variety of vegetables and some pineapple and some recycled uh yeah, you know, the things like carrots and potatoes and stuff that they're trying to grow more using bits of others and replanting bits in water. I, I didn't see or hear anything on the opposite side, yes? That is correct. You did not. Okay. I'm going to use my rifle scope to see if I can spot anything specific. All right. I'll go to the end platform oh well, we yeah fatal do the same thing since he's got the sniper rifle so you can, feel free to speak up man like you can do things no. without us prompting you like, you're a human being like, is he that okay <laughs> you're just sitting there quiet like like you're still an npc you're sitting there quiet then i'm playing the character aren't i <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's got you there. He's got you there. Fair enough. Right, right now, Fatal's just trying to look at the tree line, and uh, we'll we'll ask where you found the uh, thermal signatures, so we can stare at that more. <laughs> I'm just gonna point out the general location to him. The general location. All right, so if you were here, see that right there, Mr. Triage. Uh huh. And fatal. And. It's a good dot. It's a good dot, you know? There we go. Nice. So yeah, Campbell's gonna go down the steps to point the same location out to uh, to the triage. Okay. 
Hey, uh, triage, come on this way. And leans out over the edge to point you to where the thermal shows them at. I'll go right out onto that corner. Yep. Do at, I see them? Uh, you do not. All right. They seem to be deep within the shrubbery. I'm going to sit here and keep Overwatch until they do something. Okay. Well, so far, they seem not to be doing much in the next uh, five to ten minutes. Dead hand, nothing seems to be happening up where you're at. And uh, fatal, the trees aren't rustling anymore. Calm before the storm. Another Dead end. How close were you to finishing whatever you need to do down there? I had just started. <laughs> Maybe give him an escort? I'm down. Yep. I'll watch from up here. That... Sweet Jesus. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. I'm not going first, though. I'll go first. Yep. But we'll come down right behind him. All right, give me a marching order from the concrete, and we're going to end it right here. All right, here. Already? Damn. Uh, it'll be right. triage, then gamble, then dead hand. A little, little early, but it's close. Yeah. However you want. Cool. Yeah, um, work. I'm going to be heading for this end. I assume gamble will head to the other end. Yep. So here, let's just place Should we put ourselves there. there? Yeah, go ahead. Here, I'm gonna stay like half in cover here. Like, all right. We shall continue, and of course, oh, Fatal, uh, you have a very good view of uh, the three figures as the rain comes down and beats on them this morning. Gimbal's really glad he got another hoodie. Let's see. They added a thing here. It's called the um, what is it? The day of time of day. Oh yeah, thing? it's a slider. So let's try this. Time of day. Time. There we go. Adjust time of day. Woo! Oh my! Do I love that? That's, That's awesome. Cool. God, <laughs> Unity was worth the money, right? Yeah. Right. So worth. So cool. And you can change how much light and how how much, you know, how how hardcore you want to go with that. That's so cool. You also don't need two versions of the map if you have a day and a night time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so awesome. Uh what was it? Uh I I looked at the uh facility station. You got the night vision turned on in there? Yeah, right? That's so <laughs> cool. <laughs> Yeah, for the places that you guys have been to, I've 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 tried to add some stuff. That's pretty neat. Nice. Just in case we have to go back. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> I think. Yeah. But yeah, the night vision is a is a really neat little feature. It has a very Fallout f series feel, sort of vibe to it. <sighs> so you have met the survivors. And they haven't tried Ooh. killing you yet. Yeah. yeah. They haven't asked us if we're hungry yet. So, you know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good sign. 